everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 6 inch Doctor Strange movie Carl Mordo figure from Hasbro. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we see with all the Marvel Legends 6 inch figures. You've got the window box with the figure clearly displayed. You have black and yellow highlights with this one, the Legend series logo up at the top. You have the Doctor Strange movie logo down below in the name of the character. On the very top of the packaging, we have that Doctor Strange symbol. On the side, we have some artwork for Carl. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at the figure, a brief bio in multiple languages, and then a look at all the figures in this wave that you need to get in order to complete the Doramu Build-A-Figure. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now, the only accessories this figure comes with is it comes with two different pieces with the Dormammu Build-A-Figure. We get a leg, and then we get the two Ghost Rider heads. And I actually like this neon green color they've used with these skulls. They really kind of stand out, almost look like they glow in the dark. Now, we'll be doing a review of the Dormammu uh, Build-A-Figure in its own video later on, probably this week, once we've looked at all the other figures in this wave. So be sure to check back for that. Now, the only other accessory this figure comes with is the staff, and it's done with a flexible type plastic. Mine actually came out of the packaging a little bit warped. Probably will need to take a hair dryer or something to it to try and straighten it out. And it's done with just black. You almost have some green effect to give it that, I guess, kind of wood look to it, but it's just black and, and very thin uh, flexible type plastic and he can hold it basically in either hand you just kind of slide it in there you can hold it in this hand too it's a little more loose in, in the left hand but you can stick it in there now in the images I've seen of Mordo in, from the movie, it looks like he has a smaller type staff that you see him that he carries on his back. I don't know if like this is supposed to be like a longer version of that that can fold up to a shorter version, but it would have been cool if we'd give if they'd given us that shorter version that you could attach to his back. Okay, so for the figure itself, this seems to again be primarily a new sculpt. I believe the legs, the upper legs are the same as used on the Doctor Strange movie figure, but otherwise it's pretty much a new sculpt. The face sculpt, I think they've done a pretty good job with this. Looks pretty true to the actor's likeness. Not 100%, but close enough, I think. The skin tone is decent. He's got all black hair. The eyes are painted pretty good. And then for the rest of the figure, he's got this uh, tunic piece that's done with that kind of vinyl material, and it does cover up the leg, so it does limit some of the articulation there. But I like the sculpting detail with this line work, like here on the belt and up here on his chest. I like the line work that they've sculpted in there, so that's pretty good. He's got this left sleeve that is a dark gray color, and then this uh, right sleeve, which is a almost cream greenish color, and that's pretty true to how it looks in the movie. Then he's got this gray striping up here around his neck. So overall, just nice detailing and everything. I wouldn't say super detailed paint applications, but you know, pretty true to what we see in the movie. Now it does look like I'm assuming this is deliberate here on the um, down here near his wrists. It's got like some green, and it looks like it's washed a little bit. So you've got this uh, cream color that's the same as the shirt. I, I'd have to, I haven't looked closely enough to see if that's how it looks in the movie, but I'm assuming that's on purpose and not like a paint error. And you can see it over here as well. A little bit where the green has a little bit of wash effect in it there around his wrist so again without not having seen it that closely in the movie I don't know if that's accurate or not but otherwise like I said the figure looks pretty good he's got the as I mentioned before he's got the same upper legs as the Doctor Strange movie figure with those folds and everything in the pants the boots are different um, these boots are kind of a glossy black and they had they don't have the buckles and stuff like Doctor Strange's boots so he's wearing different kinds of boots and you'll notice on his neck, he's got this little seam on his neck of plastic. You can see it just goes straight up. It's not terribly noticeable until you look really close up at the neck and the face, but just want to point that out. So this figure stands at about six and a quarter inches tall. He's about the same height as the Doctor Strange movie figure. And for you Firefly fans out there, here's a comparison with the Legacy Collection Malcolm Reynolds figure. 
Articulation is on par with the Doctor Strange movie figure. You can turn the head to the left and to the right. It's on a ball hinge joint so he can look down pretty good and he can look back pretty good as well. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulder so you can get his arm out about that much. He does have rotation. It does rub up against this uh, piece of his shirt that sticks out a little bit but he still has pretty good rotation. Has a bicep swivel. Has the double hinged elbow so good bending there. Has swivels at the wrist. Has the side hinges on the hand so you've got the forward and back movement on this hand and then has the um, top and bottom hinges on this hand so he's got the up and down movement with that hand. He's got a midsection rotation it's kind of on a ball joint so he can uh, crunch down a little bit and he can look back there a little bit as well and you've again got the rotation there. Doesn't have a waist swivel though. Has legs are attached with ball joints but because of this uh, tunic piece it does limit that movement so he can do the splits about that much and he can get his uh, left leg forward about that much and can do his right leg forward about that much. Has a thigh swivel, has a double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. Has hinges on the feet, so good up and down movement and does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I would say that this is a pretty good figure as far as capturing how the character appears in the movie. I think the face likeness is decent. It's not 100% to the actor, but I think it's pretty good overall. And the costume and everything seems to be pretty accurate as well, at least from the images and everything. Now, that being said, I do think that this version of the character is kind of boring looking in general. I can't really fault the figure for that because, again, it does a good job of capturing the character's likeness from the movie. But the comic book version definitely is more flashy and with the big collars and the brighter green colors and everything. Now, I don't know how much of a role this character is going to play in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I know in the comics he plays a pretty big role with Doctor Strange over the course of time and everything. But again, I don't really know how that's going to play out in, in the movie. So, you know, that would also probably kind of have some effect on the appeal of this character as far as getting a figure of him. But if you're a fan of the movie characters and everything and you just like to get movie characters, then I think this is one that you'll be pretty happy with. Now, the wave with this figure has not yet hit shelves here in the United States. It should very soon. Retailers like Big Bad Toy Store do have it listed for pre-order and have it listed as shipping sometime this month. Overseas retailers like Robot Kingdom already have it in stock. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.